Hi, I'm uh, Francis Hammett. I'm the author of, among other novels, The Queen of Washington, which is coming out in October 2011. This is a novel about Rose Greenhow, the Confederate spy, based upon the alternative history proposition that she was actually a spy for the French and the British even before the Mexican War, and that this uh, little inconvenient fact is what ruined her husband's career. He was the number three guy in the State Department, the translator, and librarian, which doesn't sound like much of a job, but actually it meant that he saw all the documents. Well, even before the Mexican War, James Buchanan, who was then the Secretary of State and later a great friend of Rose's, was having other people translate documents for him because he no longer trusted the greenhouse, either one of them. Uh, this is actually documented fact. Uh, Jesse Benton Fremont, who was a social rival of Rose's, refers to this in her autobiography. And uh, Mary Chestnut, the great diarist of the Civil War, also refers to the fact that Rose was reputed to work for the British uh, legation when Lord Napier was the British minister to America. And we can presume that Lord Lyons also used her services. So we have a very complicated espionage situation in this novel, starting in 1850 in Mexico City and San Francisco, with a thing called the Lemontour land claims. And he was a Frenchman working in Mexico. He was a sea captain. He was uh, of use to the governor general of California when the Americans were trying to take over the place and claimed to have enormous grants of land. Rose testified in his behalf in 1857 before the federal district court after the California Lands Claim Commission, of which her late husband had been the associate law counsel, had said that the claims were good. Unfortunately, one of these claims included half the city of San Francisco. It would have been a tremendous amount of legal fall or all, probably rioting in the streets if the claims had been honored. Uh, so regardless of their merit, the federal district court uh, threw them out, called them the most audacious fraud in history, which is probably true because it looks like at least some of it was forged. But the main thing is this follows Rose's career from the very beginning of her espionage work to and beyond the Battle of Bull's Run, where she gave the South the information they needed to prevail over the North and to perpetuate the Civil War. Had it gone another way, the South might have well caved and come back into the Union. So she's a very important figure. Now, this illustration that I had done for this cover here is Rose with one of her lovers, a captain named John Ellison, who is the Union Provost Marshal for Washington, D.C. That document that she's holding is the map of the Washington, D.C. defenses, and Rose has a plan for the South to capture Washington. Unfortunately, the guy in the window, who you can barely see here, is Alan Pinkerton, the head of the Union Army Secret Service Bureau. He knows what's going on. He's going to follow Ellison. And from here, Rose's life is going to become very difficult. But to find out just how difficult and why her daughter was also in prison with her, even though she was only eight years old and therefore presumably innocent, you're going to have to read the book.